What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about mana today, Decentraland, at the request of Tony P. Tony P, what's up, my man? Hit that like button, you guys. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Thank you all for being here. We're at 32.7 cents. This is on Kraken, so it might not be accurate. Let's see. 32.7 cents. Boom, perfect. Um, we're going to use Kraken for a second just to look at the overall scope of this, right? Mana, by the way, as boring as it's been, it's in a pretty bullish overall trajectory, right? Um, seeing higher highs, higher lows, cycle after cycle is nice to see in itself. I did this last time. I would say that, you know, overall, because this was your this was your breakout move, right? I would say that this overall is kind of like your consolidation phase at the end of the bear market, right? So from, let's just say from the low point to the breakout point, that was about 19 months. Here from your low point to where we are now, we're at 19 months. Wow, I actually didn't know that. I thought I thought this was going to be bigger. Um, I did not have that planned out. I mean, it's debatable. You could you could say because we were in this range back here even. But then same thing over here. You could say it with that month there. So I'm I'm actually just going to do the same metric. 19 months. I don't know. I don't know, guys. And hey, it's not quite the same because on this 19th month we found our technical like lower low, not on Kraken. Technically, that's not a lower low, but on Coinbase and Binance, on the larger exchanges, it was recognized as a lower low, but it was like a fake out. Fake outs are very bullish. If it was to the upside, a fake out's a very bearish thing, right? Fake outs to the downside are very bullish things. Um, just like this here. It wasn't It wasn't 19 months, it was earlier, but hey, tomato, tomato, what's what's five months difference? You know, I don't, I don't know. Overall, the... It's kind of crazy. I don't think we're going to break out on the 19th month. Obviously, we're not going to break out. We have five days, 21 hours left. That would be nuts if we did break out by the end of this month. That would be nuts. I don't think we will, but very similar time frame. I wasn't expecting that. Um, you know, if we take into consideration this month, let's let's actually go include the breakout month because if, if, you, if you have this, it doesn't count it as one. So I'm going to take it from here. It'd be about 16 months to find your high of the cycle. If we went out 16 months, how far would that put us? That put us in like November of next year, which is later than I'm expecting. I'm expecting October. It could be anywhere from like June to October is what I'm thinking. Probably closer to October, but maybe we top off in November. Maybe we top off in December. It's possible. Um, you know, I don't know. Marathon or MANA topped off at the same month as Bitcoin that cycle, uh, last cycle. And then its first cycle, it actually topped off in January where Bitcoin topped off the month before. So if Bitcoin tops off in October, maybe MANA does top off in November. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't It doesn't have to follow any of these patterns. Maybe it tops off before this time, but I think there is enough time to see craziness is what I'm trying to get to, right? And I mean, if we did, we went from a time perspective, if we did this from a percentage perspective, and I wouldn't expect that we see this same percentage growth but just for funsies, right? Let's just say, and this was from from the low of that breakout month. We don't even really have the breakout month yet, but let's just compare it to these relative prices that we're at now, a little bit higher, right? Maybe maybe, maybe we'll, we'll put it lower even. Let's, let's be conservative, right? A little bit lower than the current price because maybe we closed the month lower than we are now. That'd put us all the way up at 42 bucks, man. 42 bucks, $100 day by day, month by month is seeming less likely. And I don't expect this cycle as of now, I had hopes, but I don't expect this cycle to be more robust than last cycle. But hey, man, that's actually right around your 1618. Even if you saw like half the growth, instead of 13,000, you saw like six and a half thousand. Uh, that's a 70x, right around your one for one for expected target areas. And don't hit me with the, it's in log, it's gonna give you higher targets. Well, fucking pardon my French, but it was in log back here. From a high point to a low point, guess what it did? it went to its 200 level. Wow, you know what I mean? Like, and it was in log. If you if you took it out of log, it just wouldn't be at these levels, it would be at higher extensions, right? Like anybody trying to use that as an argument on any of my uh, analysis is, it's, there's validity to the idea that yes, logarithmic does have these extensions at higher prices, but if you compare it to previous cycles, out of log, you would see that it doesn't hit these expected areas. It hits higher areas. I'm, not, I'm, I'm talking too much. I'm gonna go. Let's get. Let's keep it relative to the analysis. All I'm trying to say is, if we saw what we saw last cycle on an extension basis, that would actually put us up to 87 to 124 dollars. I think asking for 38 dollars to 13.56, that's a fair ask, man. Which at from this price would give it a minimum of a 41x to a potential maximum of like a 
12x, or sorry, 120x, around there, right? It's not bad, not bad for mana. And I, I think given what we did at first, it does have enough time to do that. I absolutely do think it does. Mana likes to show up later in the cycle. Here we are later in the cycle. Any day now it's gonna do that, right? It's probably going to do that. From a weekly perspective, now that we're done with the long-term stuff, um, you bounced right off your oversold zone. Nice. Bounce, you got higher lows going through your weekly RSI. The weekly RSI looks very bullish. It's ready to go. I want to look at mana on Coinbase just because it's got more volume. Yeah, same thing. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Um, you're at the low points of your accumulation raise. Perfect area to, to buy. Perfect area to DCA. I need to buy some more mana, honestly. That's that's all I'm thinking right now. Uh, from a low point to a high point, and I do own mana, but anyways, from a low point to a high point, 32.2 cents. Holding that, nice, dude. I like I like what you're doing. If you could close, if we can close above 32.2 cents today, that would be indicative to me that this <clears throat> this could be a low, right? We might have overreached, and that's a decent bit of volume on that. But oh, was it was it such a big wick? Ah, most of that volume wasn't even on that day, so never mind. It was on the low point there. Okay, so, so never mind. Nick's, Nick's what I was about to say. Um, if we can close above 32.27 cents, I think that, that that serves to be a low. That's definitely a decent area. If not, perhaps we do go down to 29.5, 28.7 cents, 618 golden retracement area. Previous closing areas on your daily perspective there. <clears throat> Perfectly normal area to find support. Um, perhaps that is where we go. In which case, the overall growth only grows from there, right? If we're talking about <coughs> a 10% move down, that could be su substantial for the growth, right? If we're talking about tens and hundreds of Xs. Um, let's look at the four hour. Four hour looks bearish, daily looks bearish on the RSI. You do have a nice downtrend here in your four hour, right? Nice downtrend there. You're potentially about to break it. I would love today to just keep moving up. Let's see how today ends. Let's, let's We'll talk about this one tomorrow. Somebody requested tomorrow. If not, I will talk about it tomorrow. This could be the low. I think we'll know by the end of the day. I mean, if we, if we continue to move up, cool. We've broken out of this four-hour downtrend. We're probably likely moving up. We're at the base of our accumulation range that we've been in since, like, really since uh, <clears throat> November of 2022, right? Here it is, July of 2024. This next move up, I wouldn't just expect takes us back to our previous areas of resistance, right? I wouldn't just expect that. I would expect that we break out. And when we see that breakout move, which again, it all starts here. Whether we go a little bit lower or not, it all starts here. When we see that breakout move, likely we're going to see a common extension based off of this move from a high to a low, which would take us up to the 61869. That's at $1.85 to $2.30 from the current price. Even if it does move down 10% lower, we're talking about anything from like a 5.5x to a 7x five and a half to seven X and it would happen in a very short amount of time. You would see monthly candles like that one. Genuinely, it wouldn't be like this. When you break out, like if you saw that in your accumulation range, if you saw this in your accumulation range, when you break out of this box of glory, this little glory box, you're gonna, you're gonna tear, you're gonna do. And in fact, actually the way that you would measure a horizontal channel you would take like the low points of the channel, which I'm not gonna count the wicks. I think those were like fake outs. I'm not gonna count the wicks there. Let's be conservative, okay? The way that you would count it would, you'd take the high points of the range to the low points of the range, but I'm taking the closing points technically. And then the breakout there, that put you at $1.94. That'd be your technical move, right? From a measure move perspective, from a high to low, that puts you right in your golden retracement range, which is exactly, and breakout moves, by the way, again, they're very violent in a good way. We want that violence, it's a good thing. Um, yeah, I'm excited for mana. This video wasn't what I was expecting it to be. I'm actually more bullish on it than, than I thought I would be. And it makes me feel bad that I, I mean, I have a decent, we, we've got a decent bit of mana actually, but never hurts to add more. This would be my lowest purchase by far, I think. Um, and anyways, it's got this kind of weird slanted inverse head and shoulders look i don't know if it is an inverse head and shoulders it, it kind of looks like it but the volume's not right i don't know if it is an inverse head and shoulders cool just more fuel to the fire of the idea that we're going up but it doesn't need that to move up so i'm going to stop talking i think i've said enough mana going up if it goes down a little bit okay cool maybe like 10 percent at the most is what i would see from here but if you can close up 32.27 cents today and preferably higher than you are even now that very much probably is your low and you're looking to move up back to the top of this range, 
which is all the way up at like <clears throat> 78 to 83 cents. And then beyond that, looking for your breakout moves. So yeah, phenomenal time to DCA, not financial advice, but I, I think man is going places, you guys. I think it's slept on and I think it's gonna show up at the end of the cycle as it does, as it has the last couple cycles. So hit that like button, subscribe if you wanna see more. I will see you on the next one. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.